Today we're going to be learning about the note C on our alto saxophone. Hope you've had a fun time practicing with the note B. Now, we're going to be keeping our fingers in the same position as what we did for the note B, but instead of us playing with our first finger on the first big key, we're going to kind of like exchange our fingers now, and now we're going to be going with our next finger on the next big key. So we're not going to be pressing down both those keys. Instead, we're going to be switching them out. Instead of the first finger, we're going to be going to the second finger. That's when we see the note C. And when you look at the musical staff, you see that we have the note B, which is a line note. It has the circular uh, note, and we have a line that goes right through it. That's for B. But when we see the note C, it's called a space note and the, li or the lines are above and below the actual note. So when you see the note C, that's when you press down that middle finger on the middle big key. So you see in the left hand we have one, two, three. We're not gonna be pressing down for the B, we're gonna be pressing down for the C. So as you're looking at line three in Accent on Achievement, the song called Lines and Spaces, we have the note B, the line note, then we have a rest, and then we have the note C, the space note. So let's go ahead and play that. Let's get our metronome started. <laughs> Keep practicing on B and C, and while you do, make sure that you're not pressing anything down on the side keys as you're pressing for either B or C. You want to be very careful not to press, accidentally press anything on the side. Thanks, we'll see you next time with the alto saxophone.